Red Lily. Show me the Wade Show. Welcome to Justin and Wade Show. I'm Wade. That's Justin. Today we've got Jeremy, a uh, friend of mine my whole life pretty much, and know Justin his whole life because they're brothers. So, Jeremy, how you doing today? But not friends our whole life. <laughs> but not friends for all of that time. <laughs> Definitely not. Not. Just, how you doing, Jeremy? I'm doing well, sir. How about y'all? We're good. We're good. good. Glad to what have do you want to talk show. about? Oh, you know, like the meaning of life, like why we're here. Okay. Oh, nice. No, actually, I do not want to do talk about you think there's that. something more to it than just... Dude, oh. I literally wrote that down in my topics recently just to hit Justin one day. We do like, we just did balloons. Now let's do the meaning of life. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. We got 10 minutes. How about uh, like games or like concerts or space? We can do all three of those at once. Um, or we can always just go back and watch those videos and think you were there. Yeah. Oh, Oh, okay. <laughs> no, if you have if you have a lot to say on a topic we've already discussed, then then let's let's do it. But you know, I was gonna I was gonna pick job or excuse me, I was gonna pick concerts and then like last week when y'all were like, What are time zones? How does this work? And you like couldn't get things together. Uh, well, I, I, I saw it before that conversation goes any further, that was oh. all me. Wade understands time zones. Justin does not. Go ahead. Thanks for thanks for following on that story, Justin. That's that's commendable. You're a good guy. Are we actually going to talk about anything today, or are we just going to ramble? What do you want to talk about? <laughs> oh, I thought I thought we were talking. Are we not talking about shit? Okay, no. Uh, let's talk about jobs. I know that's like because Watson <laughs> where Watson <laughs> where. All right, yeah. Let's talk about jobs because I've worked with both of you. Um, <laughs> Watson where like a lot. Uh, wait, what? I missed something. I also have a. You just said Watson where twice. I have a number of undergarments called uh, Watson where. W-A-R. Okay, so yeah, we'll talk about job. <laughs> I'm good. Y'all good? All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. No, I, think, you, I think our first jobs were the same, Jeremy and mine. Domino's, yeah. Yeah, yeah Domino's. That was yep. the Halsey family right there. <laughs> that was the that was the Halsey Pizza Pipeline. Yeah. Jason, <clears throat> Jason brought us in and then we like followed him to Blacksburg. Followed him, him to Blacksburg and I kept John's. <clears throat> He even took a job after he got real, like a real job. He took a job at Papa John's in, uh, I think, South Carolina for a while, right? Yeah, I worked at Papa John's here for a little bit. Yeah, I worked at, I worked at two Papa John's in Hawaii. Yeah, no. Wade, was... when did you work at Papa John's? <laughs> Never. Okay, yeah, let's just go ahead and kick him out of the to, right now. All right. I used to hang out at Domino's when, when all these worked there. <laughs> oh, my God. I always think about that because Wade would, like, join me on – uh, pizza deliveries and mm -hmm. or we would I would come back to Domino's and you know when you're young and you do stupid things that you don't mm -hmm. think people know about and I just imagine that I walk back in the in the Domino's and Mark is like you don't smell like pizza you are like what do you mean Mark know, Mark we mean? had breadsticks on that delivery gosh <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no wait 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 join me on a lot of deliveries that was good my times. First, my first job was uh, Wendy's in Franklin, and it was before it opened. So we had to, like, I was still in school, and there was a group of us that would carpool to, like, Norfolk or Chesapeake or whatever and, and do training. Um, I had a gun pulled on me in Wendy's Park drive through in Norfolk. <clears throat> well, I was looking down over there, so I go to the, I go to the window, the drive through window. I took guy's order. I turn around. I turn back, and the dude's like pulling a gun out like this. He didn't point at me or anything. I'm just looking down. And he don't see me, and he pulls out a gun, like sets it in his lap. And I just turn. I mean, I'm 16 years old. I just turn around, walk, walk back, and the manager was in there. I was like, "Yeah, that guy's got a gun." And she's like, "They're not gonna do anything. They just think it's funny. Like, just go back." And I'm like, "No, that's okay." <laughs> she went back and finished the order. I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. This is my first job." But I'm not getting shot at the drive-thru. It's okay. He just he's just showing you. It's not a big deal, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we get at least three of those a day. It's a hard it's pass so for weird. me, man. It's so weird. Yeah. Um, I picture that going differently. Like, what's that? What? Huh? What? <laughs> All right, one, two, three, go. 
I remember. Oh, damn, I thought you were going to What did we say, Justin? Um, I don't remember. Yeah. So, so how did y'all go from pizza to loans? Loans. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Because, <laughs> you know, I was making like $15 an hour just like in Seattle, uh, like just like crushing it, getting overtime. And then I got a job offer in Hawaii. And they were like, what's up? You're making fifteen dollars an hour and crushing it in overtime? And overtime. Oh, okay. Wait, were you, that did, is, you did you deliver out in uh Seattle? No, no, you were okay. No, I was professional temp in Seattle at, mm-hmm. at Countrywide Home Loans, the orchestrator of the economic collapse. So Okay, so our, being a temp is what got you into like doing yeah. loans? Got yeah, you. yeah. I started off I started off like as a like as a admin person answering a hundred calls a day and typing up stuff from underwriters. And, nice. and then uh, it's kind of like crazy. Ed called one day he got uh, transferred to Hawaii. Ed was Justin and I's boss in Hawaii. <clears throat> he called and I just happened to answer the phone. He's like, I'm looking for this form. I'm like, yeah, I'll send it to you. He said, I've got this job opening for a junior underwriter. You want to apply? And yeah, I did work there for a little bit. They were hiring for a funder, which is the worst job in the world. Um, I don't know. It wasn't that bad. I think shipping might be the worst job in the world. But anyway. Yes, shipping um, is the worst job. Yeah. Uh, I called Justin. I was like, dude, they're hiring. It's $13 an hour. It's in like, Hawaii. You can get overtime in Hawaii. And Justin, I was, I didn't think he was going to say yes. And he was like, yeah, let's do it. It so, wasn't that fast. But yeah, it was like, well, let me think about it. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Thirteen dollars an hour is the first thing I got. First time when I started doing tower work, and yeah, it was a lot of money. And they're like, "So much! Money. Oh, you want to you want to climb these cellular phone towers on just feet in the air? We're going to give you like thirteen bucks an hour." I'm like, "Yes, yes, oh, thank you." <laughs> you want to do that eighty hours a week? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> seven days a week. Do you want us to send you someplace and give you an extra hundred dollars a day? Yes, yes. Will we all pile up in one hotel room and say, <laughs> you want to sleep with we the save people? it, we'll <laughs> spend it, but yes. In a $40 hotel room? Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> just like eat, eat like amazing food all the time. Go to like the best restaurants for every Applebee's. <laughs> Olive. <laughs> oh, good job. Oh, so, wait, how did you get into the career that you have now? You're in irrigations, right? Or am I correct? Sales. Yeah, yeah. Well, say uh, a warehouse, basically. But um, I used to, uh, I did a warehouse work for a long time, shipping and receiving and working in a warehouse at, uh, it was the Peanut Patch. Um, now it's Ferretti's, but I worked there. And then even when I started doing tower work, I would quit in the winter and go work there because that was their busy season. Yeah. And so hired seasonal people. So I did a lot of, I, I basically did tower work and shipping work and, and warehouse work. And, um, I was talking to my cousin who lives up here and he worked at John Deere landscapes, which was an irrigation warehouse. He didn't do landscaping. It was an irrigation warehouse and it was John Deere. And I was like, so you work in a warehouse and you get to wear John Deere stuff and you get paid really good money. Like, can you get me a job there? And he was like, yeah, next time there's an opening, you know, I'll let you know. And I ended up going to work there moving up here. And then uh, I left there to go to Hawaii and Mm-hmm. I got with Jeremy for a year and then I came back and the guy who was my manager there had opened another company branch of the same kind of stuff in Northern Virginia. So he contacted me and asked me if I wanted to come there. Nice. And I've been there ever since. So a couple of times I left. Oh, okay. Nice. Is that when you nice. I get tired of jobs. Yeah. I think a lot of people do. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, that's fair. A lot of people get bored with their job situation. Yeah, that's why I've had like 20 jobs. <laughs> I just realized like I, I um, was talking to, I got, I got what uh, hair I have left cut this week and the person that does it, she's like, uh, I'm thinking about leaving my job. And I was like, yeah, no, I, I've got experience with that because I think I've left, I've, I've switched jobs so many times. And she was like, how do you do it? And I was like, well, it's not easy and it's going to suck, but you just do it just like you just go and you do it man yeah no I switched jobs twice this year it's been kind of crazy i've had three jobs in the last year like positions or companies 
three companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But same position. Uh, same position. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I left, left. Uh, yeah, and then I, I was in a company for about eight months, and then I joined uh, where I'm currently at, which I'm super stoked to be there. It's, it's yeah. oh my goodness. Well, that's great to hear, man. That's awesome to hear. Uh, yeah. That's all we have time for today. It was good having you on the show. Um, hey, hey, man, good sir. That's what we do. <laughs> That's what we do. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share. Thanks for listening. Peace out. See you guys.